now departing from gate 7. Last call. Your parents are going to miss you a lot. Oh yeah, a lot. But they got to be to spend this vacation with my aunt. It's a special treat. Some treat. Just because my mother found some shirts in my drawer that she didn't buy. It's not like I was trying to steal them. I wanted to try them on, see if I looked different. The store would have never missed them. Give me a chance to explain. Jail would have been better than this. This is Easton? What a hole! Ah. Hey, that's my hometown you're talking about. Really? Right away, I knew I was in trouble. Ed Claudia's house is nice enough, I guess. But it still looked like prison to me. That's a monster appetite you've got there, Sari. Sari? Nobody's called me that since I was four. I am pleased your folks let you come. My parents didn't let me come. They sent me here. They wanted to get rid of me for the summer. And you know it. They don't trust me. Do you give them reason not to trust you? You can see whose side you're on. I'm on your side. Well, I will be. As soon as you help me with the dishes. How much do I get paid? Paid? Yeah, money. I wouldn't pay you for chores in the first place. Besides, I have instructions not to give you anything. Your father told me your mother loaned you two months allowance in advance already. And it disappeared. Why is money so important to you? If you want money, you can find a job and work for it. All right. I will. And when I come home with the money I've earned, you'll probably think I stole it. I don't think there's any danger of that, Sarah. I don't know anyone who'd want to hire you. We'll see. Work? What have I done now? Where could a kid find a job in this place? Hey, got change for a dollar? No, I'm broke. I am. I'm looking for a job. I know. I know everything goes on in this town. Sure, only job that pays anything in this dumpy town is mugging. I'll find something. Bet you don't. I don't bet. Leave me alone. this town. They won't give a kid a chance. The only time they pay attention to you is when you're doing something wrong. What up, Apple? You lucky you got me to watch the place for you. Yeah, I should make you a partner. <laughs> you're wrong. Just as soon as I retire from the newspaper. Shine? Oh. Okay, Al. Take it easy now. Yeah. You need help. I got customers waiting. That's what I'm saying. You can't handle all these people. They'll get tired of waiting and leave. I need a job. Why don't you hire me? I had a helper once. 
She stole from me. Come on. What's your name? Sarah Becker. Any relation to Claudia Becker? Yeah, she's my aunt. Well, she's quite a woman. She and I went to school together. You and Aunt Claudia? For a year. I'm staying at a house this summer. You wouldn't get rich working for me. I know. Well, tell your aunt you saw Al Winkler. Tell her you want to work for me. See what she says. All right. Who ever heard of a shoe shine girl? Shining shoes on Grand Avenue? I don't have to be shining shoes. You could give me some money. I wouldn't keep you from working, knowing how much you want to. Whose stand is this? Al somebody. Al Winkler? Well, well. He had a crush on me in the fourth grade. How do you know? I just know. Do you really want your niece to be shining shoes? Why not? You're late. How do you know I'm even going to work for you? What did your aunt say? She said okay. Just okay? She said fine. Then let's get to work. Hey, easy. Sorry. I just ate. There. That looks better. Morning, Judge. I, uh, I'm not much good at explaining things. You just watch me carefully. Ugh. Can I use a brush? Not as good. Your hands are wash. When a customer comes in here, he gets more than a shine. He gets to rest in a chair. When you rub his shoes, it feels good on his feet. My customers go away feeling a little better. At least I hope they do. Enough. Enough. Hey! I thought I was to be your partner. I wouldn't call her a partner. <laughs> Not this one, Sarah. I'm Al's best customer. He's not going to trust you with the big tire right off. I'll get some more water. You said leaky hydro, but what's the road is slippery. No. I see he's got you doing his dirty work. I thought I heard my favorite sound. Money. No, you didn't. What's he paying you? Why should I tell you? Because you got my job. That's why. That was Kicker you saw. Kicker? He's my neighbor. I asked him once if he wanted to work here. He said he did. But he never showed up. What? I did that part already. Stingy Guts. What did you call him? Oh, Stingy Guts. That's what he is. Now, I don't ever want to hear you say anything like that again. Nobody has to give you a tip. Now, I want to hear you say thank you loud and clear whether you get a tip or not. Did you hear me? I heard. Here's your share of today's earnings. That's it? You'll get more when you're worth more. It wasn't much, but I left to buy a new shirt.
kill myself in that corner. Why don't you get someone to fix that hydrant? Because then I'd have to go an extra block for water. I don't have the time. Sure you do. You have me to watch the stand. I got something for you. Turn around. Lane's Lumber Company? Yeah. Bob Lane's a good friend of mine. He's one of those customers you wouldn't say thank you to. Come on. Let's go to work. Morning. <laughs> wrap it up. I was just getting into it. Nobody wants to shine on a rainy day. But it's early. It's okay. Come on. I want to spend some of our profits. We'll put it down as personal expenses. start thinking about when I was a boy. Lived in an old truck with a tin roof over the back. You lived with a truck? Most of the time. You traveled all over the country in that truck. The sound of the rain put me asleep. Was it fun living in a truck? It did keep me out of school a lot. Lucky for you. I remember one teacher, Miss Miller. She had an old one-room schoolhouse. There was a big stove in it, and I was in charge of keeping the fire going. Miss Miller never had to carry coal when I was there. Tell me something. Do teachers still give you medals in school? Medals? Miss Miller gave medals. She was the best at spelling or reading or whatever. I knew I'd never get one because I wasn't the best in anything. But at the end of school, you know what? What? She called my name. Everybody thought it was a joke. But she said, Al wins a medal for building the best fires. But it wasn't a joke. Miss Miller wasn't laughing. As I walked back to my seat, one of the kids said, Hey, Al, you better keep that medal because it's the only one you'll ever get. He was right. Here it is. That's what you won? That dinky little piece of tin? I didn't need it. Rain stopped. It's clearing. I'll get some water. We can make some money. I'll get it. No, you won't. I got it. Are you okay? I, I can't 
couldn't help it with the fire engine. I break it so slippery here. Come on, man, give him that. What's a broken glass? You okay? I'm okay. Gang water's harder than I thought. I'm okay, really. Now, here, take the key and, and, and lock up and, and go home. Now, did you hear me? They sent him to the hospital. Oh, no. Was he hurt badly? I don't know. I'll find out for you. Will you be here? I guess so. Yeah. You gonna stay open? Looks like I am. I don't know. I was going to need the money. You look tired. I really got you into something, didn't I? Giving you all that trouble about money. That's okay. I was going to be really impressed. All these tips should cheer him up. I hope this is a shortcut to the hospital. You gotta be a moron. What? This is a bad neighborhood. A lot of gangs. And you're walking around looking like that? Like what? Any fool would know to change those coins into bills. How far could you run with all that change in your pocket? Far enough. I made it here okay, didn't I? You coming to visit Al? Nah, I don't really know. Well, he knows you. He told me about the time you didn't show up for work when he said you could have a job. You really think you can keep the stand open by yourself? Better than you could. You'll see. Dr. Rogers. Dr. Rogers. Please call emergency. Mr. Hamilton. Please call the admitting office. Hello. The other day, I told you to lock up and go home. You'll be glad I didn't. Are you being polite to the customers? What do you think? Look at all these tips. That all? They tell me I'm going to be out of here by the 27th. I'm feeling much better. Yeah. You're in great shape. Dr. Amory. Dr. Amory. I'll be glad when Al gets back. But it is nice being your own boss. It is a lot of work, though. When you need help in a hurry, you'll end up hiring anything that's hanging around. Kick has trouble taking orders, especially from a girl. And he isn't even good tight shoelaces. Yeah, he practices, but he won't listen to my advice. But business is slow though, he is a good salesman. His own way, he's getting the hang of it. I'll bring him along, bit by bit. Sarah, there's a telegram from your folks. Dear Sarah, your mother has to go into the hospital. Please come home on the 8 o'clock bus tomorrow, the 27th. We need you. Love, Dad. I'm 
I'm going to miss you. I'll phone out. Customers. Did you chase them all away? Your customers? Uh-huh. You got more than ever now, thanks to me. You're gonna have so many, you're gonna need someone to take care of them all. You mean this guy? What's he doing on our side of the street? I told him he should come by and negotiate with you while I'm here. Otherwise, I was afraid he might not show up. I'll talk to him. He's a slow learner. But I think he'll do. He's not much good at explaining things, so just watch. You'll catch on. Hey, no problem. Well, I gotta go. I'd see my hands so clean. Thanks. Remember that last look at the stand. Kicker wise enough as usual, and Al breaking his back. Al was never much good at explaining what he felt about anything, but I guess he did like having me as a partner. He even gave me his medal. I'll always keep it. Could be the only medal I'll ever get, too. Well, you ready for a long ride? Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> 